on we have Berghain news april lineup for Berghain has been released april lineup for Berghain has been released and i am over the moon i am absolutely ecstatic with this news i am doing backflips in my chair as i speak about it right now because april is stacked 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 crazy bloody stacked have you guys seen this lineup for april have you seen how crazy it's going have you seen how insane everybody is that's going to be playing there first of all the first night of april the first night of april specifically april 1st look at that look at this lineup already on april 1st look at the lineup on april bloody first most likely you'll have freddie k closing april 1st you have the return of minimal legend len Faki playing there you have nini h who i'm a big fan of playing there you have r roxy moore playing there who i'm a big fan of in panorama bar you have the la legend the la young legend channel trays playing you have a debut set of etap kyle playing at panorama bar you have Jennifer Loveless playing. You have Joss Cafe playing. Natalie Series, Okta Okta. Okta Okta, sorry. Rush from Friends. Oh my God. Legitimately, maybe one of the best panorama bar lineups I've seen in a while. And obviously, Berghain main room isn't too shabby either. Crazy good. And that's the first night. The first night only, right? The first night only. The first night night only okay the first night only then we jump into this which i'm considering going to which is the october um the april east no, so the april holidays no sorry the easter holidays in april april holidays easter or oster club which is obviously easter right cool easter club night there saturday the 8th of april this is crazy essentially it's basically a club sylvester but they've only got two rooms open, which is quite nuts because I'm assuming they're going to be going open for longer. So it's probably going to be open until Tuesday, maybe not, or maybe late Monday evening to get all these people in. The lineup is absolutely insane. So, Berkheim Main Room, you've got DJ Q, you've got Helena Half, who I'm really eager to go see play. I really want to see her play, perform live. Honey Dijon playing in the main room because sometimes Honey Dijon flirts between Pano and Berkheim. So there, Jacko Jacko, LCD XOXO, who I'd love to see her play there in the main room. Luke Slater, another legend and an OG playing there. Regis, Renee Wise, the young up and coming legend. He's going to probably bring a big pet crowd there. Steffi, who usually plays in Philippine Panorama Bar and is a house legend, is going to be playing in there. Then in, then in Panorama Bar, you've got Fadi Mohan playing live. Arm um, playing there for Indivision. Legend. Ben Clock playing there. Hiroki, sorry, Hiroku Yamamura playing there. Jennifer Cardini, of course, playing there. Kiki, Col Kiki Lomo playing there. Midland, Mike Starr, Nick Hopner, OK Williams, Ryan Elliott, Soundstream. Soundstream, Soundstream, Tamo Soma and Virginia playing also. Are you stupid? That might be one of the best lineups ever. But unfortunately for me, Ryanair flights to Berlin during this weekend because it's Easter are crazy expensive. I think I saw something like, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, like three hundred pounds or something. Either way, no, to go return. Sorry, which is absolutely nuts. But if you do see an increase in random shows, if you do see me doing random shows every single day until this day, you know why. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be trying to raise funds for. If you see me doing random shows every other day, if you see me ranting and raving about Brendan Schaub and Brian Kellen and Joe Rogan and stuff on the microphone and screaming to chin to get paid more, you know why. You'll know why because those lineups are absolutely disgusting and I really can't wait to see them. you got some more too. Snack Club is going to be pretty decent, of course, as per usual. you got Great Life from Earth night happening with Bergheim Raymond open. you got Butalism 3000 playing. That's going to have all the TikTok kids there. Um, you got DJ Kigola, MCRT, Ace of Demons. You know what I mean? That's going to be a really popular one, I can imagine. You've got a really good Club Nuts here on the 15th. That's really nice. 
with Dr. Rubenstein playing in Bergheim, Joanna, Kaya Geiger, um, and in Panorama Bar, you've got Cindy there, Gabriel Kwarteng, Sedev Adassi, like, oof, so, so good. And then, of course, one of the other good ones is one here happening at the end of the month also that features DVS1 playing there in Bergheim Main Room, which is going to be absolutely crazy. But one of the lists that I have listed that I'm probably going to try to make able to go is this night, 25th of March. So I'm thinking of making this happen, most likely. I'm probably going to do a little Saturday to Tuesday jaunt, jump over and quickly go see it. Number one, because I want to go see Answer Code Request play, Electro Legend. So seeing that kind of electro sound in the main room is going to be pretty sick. I also want to see Face Fate Tower perform there. That's going to be awesome. And then, of course, in the main room, so in the pain of Paramount Bar, not main room, you're going to have Avalon Emerson playing there, who's going to be great to hear that kind of trancey, housey sound there. But my main favourite has to be Gerd Janssen. Gerd Janssen, who I've seen so many times here in London, and clearly, from my opinion, some of his best sets I've ever seen him play have been in Panorama Bar. That's going to be great. And then, of course, people like Jada G, um, who I love some of her productions. That's going to be pretty nice. And... Roy Perez that's going to be pretty sick to see too so I'm really looking forward to it so this is the 25th of March that I'm probably going to be looking at specking out to go but the April lineups for Berghain and Panorama Bar are really disgustingly good and I can't wait to see more of it going forward I can't wait to see more of it going forward